welcome you into the Stan Sheriff Center. Take a look at the Kaiser Permanente keys to the match, Chris. Well, for the Anteaters, they're going to deal out aces. They're number one in the Big West, number nine in the USA. They're led by Haley DeSales with 18 aces. And for White, they've been in school for about a month, so this is their first midterm test. This one is huge, to say the least. I hope they studied for it. Hawaii riding a four-match win streak. The Anteaters of UC Irvine, they've won six straight, and we're playing volleyball. And Emily Maglio gets conference play started in style. Ooh, nice pass by McKenna Granato to get things off so that Yoshia could run a complex offense. The Hawaiian Tell FCU starting lineup scrolling at the bottom of your screen. It will be Claire Marie Anderson getting some heavy run in our pregame show. Game on. Bump set goes outside to Harley Keikaoha. She's tied for the team lead, 3.39 kills per set, hitting 316 on the season. The reigning Big West Conference Player of the Week. She's got major game. Calls Long Beach her hometown. Six foot junior, is part Hawaiian. Father grew up on the Big Island. As Casey Castillo gets that ricochet to go off the net and out, so it is a point for Irvine. Two serving one. The Anteaters coming in 12 and one, their best start in program history. In fact, coming into the week, it ranks them eighth in the nation in terms of win-loss percentage. Here's Haley DeSales, the team leader in aces. Granado had the first touch, gets the bump set from the back row. Chance here for the Anteaters. Middle set, and that's Idara Apapa. Six foot junior from Brentwood, California. She's hitting the team best 369 on the season, but that was a quick flash of this vintage and eater defense, Chris. She doesn't make many, many mistakes. That, that defense is good as, uh, as their coach, he, uh, Coach Ashley Haynes told us before the game. That one just narrowly getting over the net. Big swing from Brianna Montgomery, and it is 4 1 Irvine. Ashley Hayne was telling us that they, she, she, last spring was when she first noticed the team would be good. And they got up against some All-Americans in the springtime game, and they just got hammered. But they realized how important defense was, and they played some good defense this year. And the sales again with the serve, and it's an ace. So one of the best teams in that category in the nation, scoring from the service line. They log another. Haley DeSales now with a team best 19 aces on the year. It is five serving one. DeSales, a six foot junior from Burbank, California. Here it comes. Good pass there by Savannah Kahakai. Granado touches it over. So advantage to the Anteaters. Montgomery through the block. Good scoop there by Anderson. Here's Castillo. Did they get a touch? No touch. It goes long, point for the Anteaters. And they have ripped off six straight points. Robin Amo Santos signals for a timeout. This presentation of Rainbow Wahine Volleyball is sponsored by Bank of Hawaii, Kaiser Permanente, and Island Air. Welcome back. Well, Hawaii struck first. Since then, it's been a 6-0 anteater run. So out of the timeout, Haley DeSales with another jump serve. Good pass by Kaakai. Maglio, the full swing is blocked back. Now it's Granado from the back row. Popped up in the air by the center, Ali Kumelis. And a free ball coming here for Hawaii. You'll see it with options. Goes backside. Maglio dug up by Luna Sujimoto, the libero for Irvine. Kekoha! Access denied. Castillo and Maglio. How about the dig in the back row by Sujimoto? There's a great block dropping into the angle by Casey Castillo. Good swing by Harley Kikaoha. Much needed point there to end that anteater run. It's Castillo with the serve. From off the net, Montgomery roll shot. Dug up by Kahakai. The touch over by Granado. Scramble play on the anteater side. Kekaoha got a swing out of it, though. And the southpaw strikes. It was a little too tricky for Kahakai to handle. That's what makes Harley Kekaoha so tough to deal with. She brings so many shots to the table. That time she fooled, I think, Kahakai. Kahakai only got one arm on it, despite the fact it was a slow hit ball. 
Mention Kekaoha, the reigning Big West Player of the Week, hit 448 over four matches, all wins last week. And there is another service ace, already the second of this opening set for the Anteaters. This one coming courtesy Luna Sujimoto, her 11th on the year. And so Robin Amo Santos goes to the bench and brings Kalei Greeley into the fold. Takes Granada out of the passing pattern, puts Greeley into the pattern. Here is Sujimoto, senior from right there in Irvine, California. Greeley has to dive to make the pass. Granado comes swooping in and goes Ball went off, off the her head. Off her head and out of bounds, point Irvine. So a little confusion for a moment on the Hawaii side, but yes, the official Gary Halton saying that Granado got a piece of that off of the block. So it is a point for Irvine. Sujimoto will serve again. Nine serving two and that short float serve results in the back set to Maglio and she's able to hammer it up against that end line. Sujimoto immediately picking on Greeley. It's uh, really more than up to the task passing both those short balls perfectly. So Emily Maglio, two kills. She'll now go to the bench and Gianna Guinasso will serve. Nobody else with a kill yet for Hawaii. And that was a big time kill courtesy Michaela Wolf, 6'3 sophomore from Corona, California. They call her Mac. Out of Santiago High School, the all time leader at that school in blocks and kill percentage. One year she hit 599. Go figure, it's unbelievable. Hawaii has a couple of Macs on its side too. Which Mac attack will take over here tonight? We'll see. That's the Hawaii Mac. That one was a smack that gets returned. Granado a second time had to just dink it over. So advantage and eaters. Montgomery the dink. Pancake save Anderson. Greeley from the back row soft swings it over. Williams able to deny the dump shot attempt. Now the slide on the Anteaters side gets blocked back. Jow set the net. And Irvine will get the point. Coming to this play, Claire Marie Anderson getting the, her hand underneath that ball for the pancake dig. And there's a pretty good block by Granado. Only to have it come back, and then she got tooled on the joust. Go figure. Yeah, Michaela Wolf getting blocked and then having the presence of mind to touch it off of the block and down. And the roll keeps going for Irvine as Keikaoha deals an ace out of that deck. It is 12-3. Now, Hawaii was confident going into this match facing Keikaoha and DeSales and their top spin jump server. Because they see jump servers all the time. They get at least five or six jump servers in practice, so they weren't worried about that. They're worried about the float servers. Williams got a swing at it and was able to put it down as that one floated, hovered above the net momentarily. How many times this year have we said, in the 11 matches we've called so far, there goes Hawaii digging another deep hole. Let's see if they can dig themselves out of this one. Seemed as though that routine was left in the past on this four match win streak. As you'll see, sends it over on her version of the top spin jump serve. Here's Kendra Kelsch going high hands. And Eaters on the attack. Wolf, the touch, is blocked back. Sujimoto bump sets cross court to Montgomery. That's dug up by Kahakai. Greeley comes over to help. Now Granado. That one got a piece. A lot of touches at the net for this Anteater squad. Montgomery puts it away for Irvine, and they are up 9, 13 to 4. But that defense for UC Irvine, all as advertised. It's as if. They watch the film and know where all the Hawaii players are going to hit, and they go put a body there and dig it out. A lot of touches, a lot of digs. Middle set, that's Sky Williams striking again. So the two middles for Hawaii, the only players who have logged kills so far in this opening set. Two apiece for Sky Williams and Emily Maglio. That's a rare statistic, to be sure. Normally, it's the pin hitters who are loading up on the kills. See Chloe Hakeem, defensive specialist, 5'6", senior, on the floor for the Anteaters. Hawaii trying to dig itself out of this early match hole as Wolf tried to go cross court, sent it wide, and a point for Hawaii. Rainbow Wahine a little bit late to get out of the locker room here in this match. We'll see if they can start revving the engine. 
six serving 13, and that one just missed the end line. And here's Michaela Wolf now to serve. Pass by Castillo. Back row set goes to Granado. Clipped the net, but it didn't matter. Finds the floor. And that's someone that Hawaii obviously needs to get going here in this match, despite their middles obviously wanting to achieve success and be effective. McKenna Granado is such a key for this club. Absolutely. You know, four kills in 225, but four kills per set. It's important she get her kills in, for sure. Fourth in the Big West Conference, in fact, in kills per set, as that one is hit wide by DeSales and a point for Hawaii. They're within a half dozen. And Savannah Kahakai will serve. Hawaii has the ability to score in bunches from the service line as well. That's what makes this matchup so darn intriguing. Both teams have the ability to go on runs. Perfect pass, though, by Sujimoto, and the dump shot worked that time by Ali Kumelis. Started her collegiate career at Portland. But someone who had caught the eye in high school of head coach Ashley Hain kept tabs on her, and here she is now starring at setter for the Anteaters. Here's Castillo, big lined up, off the block. The dig there by Hakeem. DeSales down the line and in. A great set from Camillus that time from the back row. Right on the money. She makes great choices, good location, says Coach Hain. And she's got three setting coaches. <laughs> she's a good one. Irvine hitting 256 on the season as a team. They're at 300 right now in this opening set. Here's Kelch. Got a good piece of that one, but a nice dig by Kumelis. Now DeSales couldn't get it inside the pin, so it's a point for Hawaii. And now a substitution in as Claire Marie Anderson comes in for Kelch, and she will serve. Anderson out of Punahou School, but grew up on Moloka'i until she was nine years old. It was great to see the piece in the Game On portion of the broadcast, talking about her two months in Norway this past summer. Good dig there by Savannah Kahakai, but it went wide of the antenna. So DeSales with back-to-back -back hitting errors, and Hawaii gets the double digits here in set one. One thing about DeSales, she's got three and a half kills per set, so she is for a good number there, but she also hits only 203, so she does have a tendency to make some errors once in a while. Sujimoto with the pass, bump set. Kekaoa had to adjust the run-up, somehow got it over. Bump set Kahakai to Castillo, she's blocked. Castillo a second time, high hands, kept alive by Akeem. Outside, it's DeSales blocked back. Sujimoto with the cover. DeSales. Oh, that was an awkward run up off the block, saved by Kahakai. So you'll see it looks outside to Castillo, sends it long. No touch up front, and Irvine wins a lengthy one. So Castillo has been pretty error free most of the time the last half dozen games. Well, she's hit for a really good percentage tonight. Trying a little bit too hard, I think, and uh, just missing the back line on a couple of shots. He was hitting 245 coming in. Third on the team in kills per set at 2.27, but right now, no kills, six swings, three errors, negative 500. Can she get off the schneid? Oh, it's dug up nicely there by DeSales, but a mishandle on the set. And no one gets the point. So McKenna Ross will come into the match for Hawaii, and she will serve, provided quite a spark for the Rainbow Wahine in that second match last week against Northern Arizona, where she went for a career-high 10 kills, hit 348, and also did some damage from the service line. I watched her in practice yesterday. She really looked sharp in practice as well. Solo stuff, Emily Maglio, saying, oh, no, you don't, to Idara Akpako. Mags had a good read that she, she, she took that step to the left, take away the uh, wrist away shot by Apapa. Emily Maglio averaging 1.48 blocks per set. That's good enough for 22nd in the nation. Kekaoha, two hand dig there by Ross. Here's Granado going off the block. Middle set, Apapa. A little bit of vengeance there after the solo roof by Maglio. 
And UC Irvine maintaining this distance here throughout this middle portion of the first set. You see why she's the highest percentage player hitting on the team at 369. Doesn't make many errors, gets up high, has lots of range. Idara, by the way, by the way, I'll make it easy for you. They call her E. <laughs> why did you, why did you tell me that early? <laughs> As Sujimoto sends it into the net. Sujimoto's a good one, I'll tell you. She takes a lot of court in, pa in that passing pattern. She'll steal balls away from both of her yeah. passing partners right now. Watch. Doing her version of Kelly Leak in the Bad News Bears, where exactly. she's just roaming the outfield, if you will. That time, though, Kekaoha handles the first touch, and the middle set pounded down by Michaela Wolf. Wolf at 6-3 with a high point of contact seen right there. 6-3, yeah, she has a high contact there. She hits 301. Not bad for a middle blocker. On Saturday, she had 333 against Cal State Bakersfield. Seven kills, four blocks. Good night for her. You'll see it goes middle to Sky Williams. And Williams, three for three. Back in the thousand here in the early going. You'll see it unafraid to set the freshman. Who only started playing volleyball, by the way, in ninth grade. <laughs> this is just her fifth year of volleyball. Touches 10 feet with those go-go gadget arms of hers. Outside, big windup by Montgomery. Wow, flying in there. And the transfer from Hofstra able to put it down. Montgomery spent uh, two years there, Hofstra, I believe. Now a senior at yes. UCI. She now retreats back to serve. Just narrowly gets it over the net. You'll see a high and away. Here's Kel swinging from the outside pin. Good trace down there by Sujimoto. DeSales up over the block, goes long. Was there a touch? No touch. And a point for the Lady Bows. Gary Houghton, the official atop the ladder. Ernie Ho down on the Terraflex. And the line judges, Kevin Chun and Sam Montalvo. Well, DeSales hitting negative 429. You mentioned not always the most efficient, although prolific hitter for Irvine. But she is not calibrated at the moment. Gets another stab at it, though. Dug up by Kahakai. Played off the net by Yosia. And two-handed over by Kelch. Here's DeSales again. Cross court. Someone dug it up. It was either Granado or Kahakai. Granado is blocked. Saved by Castillo. Here's Kelch. Tried to dink it over. But the block out of piece. DeSales a third time. Blocked back by Williams. Scramble play. Kekaoha from the back row. Right there is Kahakai. You'll see ya. To Castillo, didn't get a good set out there, but Castillo made it work anyway. How about that rally? Both sides playing some pretty good defense. Castillo finally getting her first kill of the night with this deep tip shot. Castillo and Yosia not on the same page on that set, and yet, ironically, that's how Castillo gets in the kill column <laughs> with her first put down. 16 serving 20. Hawaii making things a little interesting here in the latter portion of set one. Kekaoha rolls shot. Diving save beautifully done by Yosia. Here's Castillo. Sends it long, no touch. And a point for Irvine. Action hanging up off the bench quickly. Arguing with the referee. Should have been a double contact by Kendra Kelsch. Well, she got the point anyway, so she sat down pretty quickly. Yeah, all's well that ends well from her vantage point. That serve goes way out from Michaela Wolf. So Hawaii knocking on the door here, although Irvine at that 21-point mark. But you have Savannah Kahakai behind the service line, and if she gets that jump serve going, she can put on a run. They need one right about now here in this first stanza. Second on the team with 12 service aces. DeSales sends it over the net. You'll see it goes right side. Here's Kelsch against the double block. Josh, what did you have for a training table tonight? Wheaties? And only Wheaties? That oh, was a bomb by Kendra. A little extra spring exemplified there by the 6'1 senior from Huntington Beach. And Hawaii within three. Kahakai goes at DeSales again. Sujimoto will set her up on the outside, off the block. You'll see it can't quite get there. Valiant effort right in front of the Bulls bench. 
That was a hammer by DeSales. She's got a heavy arm. It's evidence of when she goes back to serve. She loves to swing hard. So 22 serving 18, and it will be Ali Kumelis. You'll see it goes middle to Maglio, and it's a whiff. And Robin Amosato signals for a timeout. Opportunity literally missed right there by Hawaii. Welcome back. Let's go inside the numbers presented by Heineken. This is in jeopardy. 11 consecutive sets won by Hawaii since trailing Baylor 2-1 back on September 8th. They came back to win that dramatic five-set match. Since then, sweeps of Nevada and twice sweeping Northern Arizona. But they trail out of the timeout 23-18. Here's Castillo. Pushes it deep and out. And right now, there is just not a good connection and or rhythm between Noreen Yosia and Casey Castillo. Exactly. Hawaii hitting 086, Irvine hitting 162. And it's Aloha ball for the Anteaters in the first. Yosia going backside to Kelsch, blocked, pinballed around, and Castillo couldn't slam dunk it home on what was a golden opportunity. Anteaters win 25-18. They'll swap sides. Hawaii going to have to figure some things out. Welcome back. Series record sponsored by Aston Hotels and Resorts. And how about this? Hawaii has never lost to UC Irvine. 36-0 last meeting last November in California. And Hawaii winning in straight sets there. But this is a UC Irvine team that, if set one was any indication, feels pretty good about itself. We were mentioning Hawaii had won 11 straight sets before losing in the first 25-18 uh, here tonight. Well, Irvine riding a six-match win streak, that was their 17th straight set victory. And the real hero of that first set was their defense. 19 digs to Hawaii's 12 and two blocks. But only hit 190, 194. And things start off similarly to how it went in set one with the out serve by Savannah Kalakai. Irvine also out hitting Hawaii in that first set, 194 to 0.027. And here is Luna Sujimoto to serve. Middle set, Maglio dropping the hammer. We only got five sets in the first set. I expect to see her get a few more. Second on the team coming in, 2.83 kills per set. But as mentioned, hitting a high percentage as usual, 368 on the year. In fact, she's hitting 398 over her last handful of matches. She's turning it on here, getting into mid-season form. Same can be said for Harley Kekaoha. She looked like the player of the week right there, didn't she? She faced a two-person block and found a way to slide it in between the two blockers. That's her third kill. You know, she's always revved up to play here in Hawaii because of her connections to the islands. But she hasn't always had her best performances here in the Stan Sheriff Center. That one touched over by Wolf. Outside, it's Castillo. And it's a net violation called against Irvine. That would have been an out ball by Castillo. Hawaii gets the all-important point. Ashley Hain arguing the call there. And she just wanted to know which number uh, made the violation. It was that one was right there. Good call. Yeah. Kayla Wolf got a forearm on the net. Ernie Ho all over that one. And McKenna Ross with the serve for Hawaii. Slide goes to Wolf, and she blasts it off of Granado's proposed block and down. More of a mix up for her net violation, comes right back with a nice slide maneuver. And so here's Brianna Montgomery now to serve. Not into the net. It's the third service error for Irvine. Hawaii with two, but Irvine also with the three service aces in that opening set. Gianna Guanasso now in and back to serve. Hawaii, of course, preseason pick to win the Big West Conference. Two-time defending champs. Irvine, preseason pick fifth. And Guanasso 
serving Irvine a taste of its own medicine, if you will, with the service ace. She immediately goes for the sub, Chloe Hakim. But Irvine looks, at least in terms of non-conference play, this 12-1 record, what we've seen here so far tonight, much better than the team preseason pick fifth in the conference as DeSales goes down the line and in. Wow, what a shot. She didn't have much room there. She just squeezed it in between the antenna and the block. This is one good shot. What are your impressions here so far of the Anteaters? I'm impressed, especially with their defense. You know, their passing isn't as good as I thought it would be, but uh, I'm sure that will come around. But they just dig a lot of balls. There's kick out over from the back row. Two-hand save by Kahakai. Bump set goes to Granado from off the net. Off the block and out. So for McKenna Granado, that's just her second kill on 13 swings, but that puts her back into positive figures in terms of hitting average. This is a good swing. You see the little step closer. She had no approach. She had to rely largely on not her jump, but on her arm swing. Sophia Howling now into the match. So Robin Omos Santos trying a few different things. Obviously playing a lot of players the last couple of weekends. Just for situations like this, great scoop there by Sujimoto. Here's Keikaoa into the net. Point for Hawaii, and they lead 5-2. We mentioned a lot of times this happens, right, for players who have ties to the islands or maybe are from Hawaii. They get into this building, into this environment, maybe a little too jacked up. Trying, trying too hard, yeah. But how about Sujimoto with eight digs so far? Amazing. Eight digs for Kahakai as well on the Hawaii side. DeSales tried to push it down the line, saved by Yosia. Here's Kelsch through the block and down. We've seen a couple of really good swings from Kendra Kelsch here tonight so far. Yeah, she gets a good set at that time for Kahakai as well. Kendra putting a lot more mustard on her shots than normal. So here is Noreen Yosia, the team leader with 20 aces on the season coming into tonight. Good pass there by Keikaoha. Slide goes to a Papa diving save by Ross. Kelsch has to soft touch it over. So Irvine bumps it outside to Sales by the double block with Divinity. The sales, she's got one heavy arm. Blocked a little bit too wide, I think, there. Block could have been taking more of her angle. So DeSales now with four kills. Kahakai bump set to Kelsch from the outside. That goes long, no touch up front. Uh, a couple of straight points here for Irvine to get back within one in set two. Ali Kumelis, the setter, sends it across. From her knees, you'll see a sets up Kelsch. That was pretty. Great set from Yosia and a great swing by Kendra Kelsch. Not much room again but that time between the outside blocker's hand and the antenna. So the crowd quiets now, awaiting the serve by Granado. Blasted long. UH fans select your exact seat locations when purchasing individual game tickets at hawaiiathletics.com. Click on the tickets button to print your tickets. Avoid the lines by going online. And now DeSales with that tough serve, getting ready to employ it once more. Into the net it goes. on that great six-point run there in the first set. Not so this time around. Yeah, this second set almost taking on an appearance of what you usually see in a match like this in set one. Two exactly. teams kind of feeling each other out. Exactly. Kahakai. Sujimoto passed it tight to the net and then a beautiful setup for Akpakpa from Kumelis, and scary moment as Maglio hit the deck. Appears to be okay, she'll tighten up the laces, but everybody in the stand share center breathing a sigh of relief as they saw her get up immediately. Those are scary moments. I mean, rewind back to Nikki Taylor against Minnesota. Minnesota first set. Second round of the NCAA tournament last year. Take a look at the right ankle of Maglio. 
rolled it as Akpakpa was landing. And that is a situation that can be pretty severe depending on the circumstance. So good to see Maglio seems to be okay. You'll see us, sets up Castillo, drops it down. Luckily, Maglio had those uh, active ankle guards on. I think that would uh, at least reduce any sort of uh, sprain that might occur. Still working those laces. Ten serving eight, here it comes from Anderson. Middle set, Wolf, that's dug up by Granado. So you see it goes high and away, Castillo again. The connection just not there, the timing not right. Here's Keikaoha, that's dug up by Granado. Middle set, Maglio diving save, Sujimoto, that was pretty. Keikaoha roll shot right there is Hawaii's libero. Granado from the back row blocks back. You'll see him, sets up Castillo. Diving save, Sujimoto, she's all over the place on the back line and a scramble just to return it. You'll see it, tried to push it deep. Sujimoto vacuuming everything up. You'll see it outside. Castillo, this time, gets it by Sujimoto in the back row. Major props to Luna Sujimoto. Three digs in that rally and just missed the last one. There's one great move, laying it all out. And she picks up another one and to her right. And then this last one she cannot get to. By Castillo. The play for Kekaoha in the middle, and you see the exuberant celebration from the six foot junior after she clocked that one down. Melissa run a little bit different play for her, and instead of setting her to the pins all the time, they will run her out of the middle once in a while. First team all Big West Conference the last two seasons. And that one just missed almost one of those proverbial bump kills <laughs> but missed by an inch and so Irvine back to within a point so give the ace to Kekaoha bump set outside here's Castillo against the double block and it has taken a while, but Castillo starting to get some momentum rolling. That is kill number five for her. She leads Hawaii. Comes up against a well-formed block. She just goes over and down. In case of Castillo, one kill, five errors in ten tries in the first set. Bouncing back now with a couple of errors, a couple of uh, kills. Back row set to sales. She put quite the hit off that from behind the three meter line against the block that included Emily Maglia. Well, we've got two back row attackers now. DeSales there hitting the A ball on the left side. And they've got Keikaoa hitting the D ball on the right side. Much more of a ground and pound type of feel to this second set than what we saw in set one. Granado, speaking of pounding, putting the hurt on that set. She's going to hit the down the line. She better give Sujimoto a helmet and protect herself. Boom! She's got her head taken off there. Kenna Granado entering tonight's match. Ten kills away from reaching the 500 Korea kill milestone. Here's DeSales on the outside. Diving save by Guinasso. And two-handed over chance here for Irvine. Slide, that's Wolf. Got the touch off the block. And it's a point for Irvine. How about Luna Sujimoto? 11 digs so far. Only a game and a half. Kahakai not that far behind her. She's got nine to this point. Middle set, that's Howling. Announcing her presence. Sophia Howling, 6-2 Frosh from Los Angeles. Three-time varsity letter winner, two-time team captain at Venice High School in LA. And that was in the sweet spot right there. 14 serving 12. The bad pass caused by a Yosia serve. Kahakai digs up the sails. Here's Granado going high hands. Right there is Keikaoha. 
to Sales again. Touch shot. Diving save by Granado for not. And it's a point for Irvine and another put down for DeSales. That's her sixth kill. She leads everybody. And DeSales, who was way into the negative numbers, has now been able to construct a 176 hitting percentage to this point. She wasn't going to be quiet for long, that's for sure. She's too good a player. She's, you know, she's tied Keiko Oha and kills per set this year at three and a half apiece. Camellis floater pass by Tahakai. Middle set, Howling. And while there have been some timing issues at parts of this match, you'll see it to Howling right on. This presentation of Rainbow Wahine Volleyball is sponsored by Strom and Hawaii Honda Dealers. Welcome back. This second set, much more of a grinded out type of battle. And when you look at the hitting percentages, Chris, you have Irvine hitting 381 here in the second set. Hawaii hitting 500. So it doesn't necessarily seem like it is the most sharply played of volleyball sets, and yet some pretty decent numbers to attach. And finally, to. finally, the offenses came back into the house. It was all defense the first set. Finally, both offenses played pretty good. And that's pretty good if you're Hawaii. McKenna Granado delivering the ace, and Hawaii up three. Not too often do you get two teams on opposing sides of the net that have the capability of scoring in bunches from the service line like these two squads. Nala going back to her jump throat after having trouble serving two jump serves out. And DeSales sends it out. No touch up front to a point for Hawaii. Largest lead of this second set following a 3-0 rainbow run. Yeah, what do you think about this adjustment here for McKenna Granado? I think it was a smart one. She's keeping the ball in the court, giving her team a chance to score, and it's working. Fujimoto with the pass. Camellis goes slide to a pop puck. Blocked and roofed. Howling sent it right back into her, and then it went off of a pop puck and into the antenna. Well, Papa couldn't get out of the way. The block was definitely out about three feet. And a timeout taken by Ashley Hayne and UC Irvine. Sophia Howling, the freshman, making an impact. Big Island Candies, the perfect place to find the perfect gift. Visit them at their flagship store in Hilo at Ala Moana Center or BigIslandCandies.com to see their amazing selection. Welcome back. Fun second set here. A lot of back and forth offensive action, but Hawaii up five. And this leads to a service error by McKenna Granado. So give the credit to Ashley Hain making the timeout call, the head coach for UC Irvine. 14 serving 18, and Haley DeSales, she can score in bunches. Played her freshman year at Washington State with the serve. Good pass there by Kahakai. Backside set to Kelsch. The block was late, and Kelsch made him pay. And what a set from Yosia. Against the flow, thinking the whole offense was going one direction. She backsets it the other direction, and Kelsch makes Irvine pay. Another float serve there by Kahakai this time. A pop -up. Nothing floaty about that. That was violent. She's, she's the real deal in the middle. Number four in the Big West and kill percentage at 369. Does not make many mistakes. So Luna Sujimoto, yet another transfer on this Irvine squad. She started her career at Ohio State. Bump set outside. Castillo went up over the block. Well, that set was so tight. I didn't know if she was going to be able to reach it. All of a sudden, she, she sort of stepped up the ladder, got on the next step, and went over both good Irvine blockers. So the two kill leaders in this match, DeSales and Castillo, both going through a roller coaster ride in terms of their hitting percentages. Kekaoha dug up by Kahakai. You'll see it. High and away to Castillo. Off the fingertips of the block right there is Sujimoto. Middle set, it's Wolf. Dug up by Kahakai. Good second touch by Mags. Free chance here for Irvine. Kekaoha off the block right there is Kahakai. Advantage Hawaii. Back row set to Granado. 
Was there a touch? No touch. It goes long point for UC Irvine. Great digging on both sides. Fujimoto on, on one side, Kahakai on the other. We're seeing some defense here tonight. Here. Almost Santos with two timeouts left. Ashley Hain with one timeout left. Kikoha the serve. Kahakai had to lay out to retrieve that. Granado from behind the line, blocked and roofed. It was Wolf in the middle, right next to Montgomery. And back come the Anteaters within three. Solid block there. Kayla Wolf getting most of it. The crowd turning up the volume knob. Did the crowd had anything to do with that one? You never know. They're convinced they did. Yeah. You know what you back up for. Big swing here and Casey Castillo now to serve. What a topsy-turvy match it has been for Casey Castillo and Haley DeSales. And heck, we're only in set two. Here's Wolf in the middle. Mag's got just a finger on that. Outside, it's Granado. That was a big windup. Here's Montgomery against a solo block. Brianna Montgomery, the senior. Hitting just a buck 70 coming into tonight's match. But that was kill number four for her. She's, 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 are you kidding me? She's careering out. So 18 serving 21. Handled by Granado. Middle set. Maglia goes off the shoulder of Sujimoto. Call it a dig. Back row, Ross dug up by Sujimoto again. Slide to Wolf off the high hands. Hawaii on the attack. Slide goes to Maglio. Right there is Montgomery. Kekaoha from the back row. Ross had the back line covered. Here's Granado again. The dink. Diving save to Sales. Nobody had the second touch. Point for Hawaii. And they're up four. That was a quintessential rally there. Had a little bit of everything in it. Sujimoto with her digs, Kyle, Kyle with the digs, and how about McKenna Ross? She had at least two, maybe three digs back there, roaming the back line. How about the libero numbers here? 12 digs for Sujimoto, 14 for Savannah Kahakai. Amazing. Guinasso in and back to serve. Outside to Sales, through the block, one hand diving save Guinasso. Granado from off the net, got under it. And it's a point for Irvine. Ooh, normally Granado does a pretty good job of keeping those in. I think she was trying to keep it in. It was Granado keeping the ball alive and looking at the hustle of Yosia. Puts up a good bump set, but Granado could not keep the ball in play. So here's Michaela Wolf. Got to get it in, she does. Granado shanks the first touch, chased down by Ross. And it'll be returned. Free chance for the Anteaters. Outside to Sales. Dug up by Kahakai. But to no avail. As Irvine gets the point on another to Sales smash. Timeout, Robin Amo Santos. Irvine within a pair. Welcome back. Let's check out the first Hawaiian Bank top three. This is the most series victories without a loss for Hawaii against any opponent. Fresno State, Hawaii. 51 and 0, but UC Irvine and Cal State Bulletin, a couple of Big West opponents. 36 and 0 in favor of Hawaii. And Eaters striking first in set one, though, hoping to change those fortunes. Granado out of the timeout. What a save by Chloe Hakeem. DeSales is blocked back. This time from off the net. Took something off, tried to cut it down the line. Missed it wide. Point for Hawaii. It's 23, serving 20. Remember last year, Irvine and UC Santa Barbara were the only Big West Conference teams to take a set off of Hawaii. And Eaters have done it again tonight. Time out, Ashley Hain. Bout at the Good Samaritan Society. Back here at the Stan Sheriff Center, Robin Amo Santos celebrating her birthday last weekend. Getting started on conference play tonight, Hawaii. Having won its last four matches, finally getting above 500 in overall record, six and five. And Robin Amo Santos saying they had a pretty decent week of practice. 
But it did seem as though there was a little bit of a lackluster nature to the vibe on the Hawaii side of the net in set one. Trying to even things up here. They lead by three in the second. Middle set, a pot puck. That was powerful. That was. Tight, tight slide, close to the center. Caught Holly a little off guard. She was a little late on it. Serve by Kumelis. Backside, it's Granado off the block and out. McKenna Granado with kill number five on her 24th attempt. And it's a little ball for the Rainbow Wahine here in set two. Hawaii just now used their last substitution, all 15 of them, with Castillo coming in. This group's got to finish now. It will be Granado to serve to even up the match. Kumelis goes middle, a pop up. Somehow kept alive by Hawaii. Hain wanted a double hit on the dig by Castillo. It didn't matter as it got put down by Idara a pop up the second time around. But Ashley Hain didn't think that was a legal pickup by Castillo. It's hard for us to tell from here because the, the back of the player was to us. It looked like it might have been a juggle there. I think Ashley Hain had a, had a point. So she told her captain, Ali Kumelis, to go over and ask the referee, how come he didn't stop the play? Well, she got the point anyway, so it's sort of moot. Here's Haley DeSales. Aloha ball for Hawaii. It remains. Pass tight to the net. Montgomery. Net violation called against Irvine. A point for Hawaii. Number two. Amazing. On what was an overpass, right nectar for Brianna Montgomery, and she wasn't able to put it down. So if the Anteaters make a statement in the opening set, Hawaii responds. Get comfy, folks. We've got it. Welcome back. Let's take a look at the McDonald's match statistics. Anything that sticks out to you, Chris? Well, it's really a tale of two sets, more so than the, the, the totals right there. Irvine out hitting Hawaii 211 to 171. Blocks even. Digs even. Ace the airs, you know, about even. So the the real story, though, was, uh, was the first set, the defense played by Irvine. And the second set really was more the offense displayed by Hawaii. So really interesting match so far. Yeah, and Eaters showing up here tonight at the Stan Sheriff Center to open conference play, and they're not messing around. They have proclaimed that they are here to give Hawaii a run for its money. Uh, and maybe Robin Amo Santos sensing that, taking a little extra time in the locker room, talking to this team. They just got out of the locker room and walked through the tunnel onto the playing surface. Now, right at the very last <laughs> second, of this intermission period. And she's going with the same lineup that uh, won the second set, leaving Howling in in the middle. How about the comeback by Casey Castillo? You know, a lot of coaches would have given up on a player who had five errors in the first set. And not Robin Amo Santos. She was patient with Casey, and Casey came back uh, to, to hit uh, get six kills. and. Offset those five bears, got six kills this, in the second set and really played well. The other story of the night easily is, is the play of the, the two liberos. You know, Luna Sujimoto with 14 digs, Savannah Karakai with 14 digs. Their averages would say they get four digs per set. They should have eight apiece now. They got 14, almost doubled it. They're really putting on a clinic to be sure. Yeah, the liberos came to play as well, but Corner crew pointing out the percentages for Castillo and Granado, 059, 042 respectively. How important is it for Hawaii to get more efficiency out of the pin hitters as Kendra Kelsch hits it into the net to start set number three? Well, it, it's really important to get more efficiency. And one thing that will help is if they get the middle established again to open up the pins. Now well, Maglio and Sky Williams had the first four kills for Hawaii in the opening set, but it's been a lot of outside and right side opportunities for Hawaii, especially because of some passing breakdowns out of system scramble plays. As Kendra Kelsch 
The former setter unable to handle that set, and it's quickly 2-0 Irvine. Castillo with the pass. Bump set from her knees. You'll see it goes to Castillo, who just places it down in the perfect spot. You know, at 6-3, she really has an advantage over smaller blocks. She can look over the block. She can get those tight sets. And instead of a joust being up there, she'll just go up and capture the ball before it comes down and tip it over the block. So one serving two. Here's Kelsch. She's looked pretty good hitting the ball here tonight. Maglio looking pretty good on that block right there, getting another one. And we're tied at two. Great matchup here with Maglio going up against Octopa. Two best set middle blockers on each team, both offensively and defensively. And that one hit just long from Kelsch and Maglio. Fifth in the Big West Conference in hitting percentage. As we mentioned, 22nd in the nation in blocks per set. And she is a one-person wrecking crew, and she is on that front line for Hawaii. Here's Haley DeSales. Perfect pass there by Castillo. She'll get the set on the outside. The block was late, but still got a piece. So Sujimoto, bump sets, Keikaoha, the dink works. Pulled the string, and Keikaoha, that's just her fifth kill. She has been relatively quiet for someone of her ilk and importance to this Irvine squad. Exactly, did a great job of disguising that tip until the very last. Great shot. Big West player of the week this week. Her dad, Keone, hails from the Big Island. Sister Brianna even played a little college volleyball at Hawaii Hilo. And that went into the net, so a much needed point for Hawaii. Getting back to Keika Oha, she actually had to decide early on in life which arm she was going to hit with. Of course, her dad played volleyball, her aunt coached volleyball, and so volleyball was always in her family, but she had to decide. She was actually ambidextrous and would hit from either the right side or the left side, depending on where the set was. As DeSales hits it into the net. So another point for Hawaii, and they've come right back to tie things up at four. How cool would that be to be ambidextrous like that? I think she chose the right, the right arm. <laughs> She's a great opposite, and a great jump serve. She chose the right arm by choosing the left arm. Here's Granado going high hand. Kekaoha dug up by Kahakai. Maglio blocked back by a pop up. And Granado. Unable to bump it over the net. Actually, a pretty good idea to bump it short there. Just didn't get it quite far enough. I think it would have dropped if it had, had it uh, gotten gone over the net. Big West Conference opener for both teams. Imperative, you would say, right? For Hawaii and trying to defend its Big West crown to win the opener on its home floor as Maglio puts a hurting on that one. I would agree with that. I believe these two uh, play each other late in the second round at Irvine, where they'll clearly have an advantage there. Yeah, that will be the penultimate conference match for Irvine and Hawaii on November 18th in California. Kekaoha dug up by Kelsch. You'll see a high and away to Granado. Big swing at it. Kumel is able to handle it off the block. Kekaoha again. Diving save by Kelsch. Collided with Ross. And Granado from off the net able to hit it off the block. Again Kelsch with the scoop. You'll see him. The second touch dump shot. Perfectly timed. Perfectly placed. Couldn't have picked a better time or spot for it. A little side set to get the kill. You'll see her be a little more offensive. I think she, she can be even more offensive if she wants to be. Yeah, you have said that multitude of times already this season. Worked there for Hawaii. They lead for the first time here in set three. How about that dig by Kelsch? Ross from the back row. What a sequence. Kenna 
Oh, gosh. She was doing a little of that in practice yesterday. I'm not surprised she's in there now doing the same thing, hitting that broken play pipe shot out of the back row. These are the moments, right, in a big match, a match that is weighted in importance. These are the moments that prove that Robin Amos Santos getting all of these players some legitimate time under the lights pays off. As Noreenio Sia says, ole to Brianna Montgomery, and Hawaii has scored four straight. And Montgomery did the right thing, I think, as she took the, she attacked the shorter blocker right there in Yosia, but Noreen proving that uh, she can block that line pretty good. So eight serving five, here's Guinasso. Tried to take something off, took a little too much off. So two point differential here in the third. Irvine took set one 25 18. Hawaii able to turn the tide 25 22 in the second. You'll see a high and away. Granado. Good save there, Kikaoha. Montgomery pushes it through the block. You'll see a pops it straight up. Kelsch outside. Granado caught it fat. No touch. Robin Amos Santos thought there was a touch of either the ball or the net, and she's arguing her point with Ernie Ho. And arguing it quite vehemently. I, I think Ernie, let's see if there's a net violation here. He's claiming, I think, that the ball had landed, which made the play dead, making that net right there moot. Because there was a touch late in that replay. That time, Granado leaving no doubt. So you're going to hand it to, hand it to uh, the Irvine blocking scheme tonight. McKenna Granado has just been hammering the ball 31 times to be exact, and she's only got six kills uh, to, to count for that, and it's all been Irvine's block that's just been superior. Oh, that's an in ball from Michaela Wolf on a low set in the middle. And the point for Irvine there within one. I'm surprised that uh, Coach hmm. Amo Santos didn't uh, go for the green card and challenge that. Middle set howling. I tell you what. Hawaii has discovered this connection tonight, and it continues to pay dividends. You know, what's interesting is that uh, Scott and Williams, who started the night, had three kills, no errors, just hitting a thousand, and she got subbed out for Sophia Howling. I think there was block, uh, blocking issues, possibly, with Scott and Williams, and Sophia's doing a little bit better job blocking at the net. Here's Wolf. Good catch there by Granado. Bump set to Castillo off the net. Couldn't get a good wood on it. But Hawaii not caught off guard on the dump shot. Kelsch is dug up by Keikaoha. She gets it from the back row, but she soft touches it into the net. Keikaoha, who had nine kills and 19 digs in this building last year, Irvine was able to take a set off Hawaii here in Honolulu. Rainbow Wahine then sweeping them in the last meeting in November in California. Sujimoto into the bench to keep this sequence alive. You'll see a middle howling blocked in roof. Solo style by Michaela Wolf. A little too obvious that time that the ball was going to the middle attacker. A free ball there. So the commit block by Michaela Wolf makes it very easy. So nine serving 11, and it is Wolf. You'll see a backside to Kelsch off the block and down. They are trading blows here in this middle portion of set three. Here comes a solid rotation for Hawaii. 6 3 Maglio comes into the game with 6 3 Castillo and 6 1 Kelsch up front. P pretty good blocking combos. Savannah Kahakai with those 16 digs. Outside, it's DeSales. No doubt about that one. And for DeSales, that is her eighth kill of the match on 25 swings. You 
see it goes middle. Maglio block out a piece. Sujimoto with the dig. That's her 16th dig. Maglio set herself up. <laughs> Mags, the Canadian turn beach player the last couple of years. Got a set right there with her block and then just tapped it down for the kill. Mags, fifth kill of the night, no errors. How about that diving pass by Sujimoto? And then the door slammed shut by Emily Maglio. This, no. is, a, this is about as straight down a block as we've seen all year, don't you think? That was nailed to the floor. No questioning Maglio's toughness, right? Rolled the ankle in set two, stayed out there. And look at what she has done here in the last stretch as DeSales attacking Maglio in the middle. Gotta love the chutzpah of this Irvine squad. And that time able to get it by Mags for the Irvine point. And this is a solid, well-coached team. They play great defense. Their blocking has been su superb tonight. And then their offense also Tricky and well set Went by Maglio. Plugs it through the double block. It was Montgomery next to Akpapa. And Hawaii gets to 15 first in the third. Welcome back, Emily Maglio. Awakening even more here in this third set. She has made an impact offensively and defensively, Chris. Six kills, no errors in 15 tries. She's got one block solo in on three other blocks. Nags is doing it all tonight. So Castillo to serve out of the timeout. 15 serving 11. Kekaoha flat-footed. The timing a little off. Maglio, another hammer at it. But the block got a good piece. And then the touchdown by Akpakpa. Just placed it right into the middle of the floor. Akpakpa winning the battle of the middles in that rotation. Akpakpa with seven kills, hitting 214. And Luna Sujimoto will serve. I think she'll look for Ross. Nope, she didn't go for Ross, she went for Granado. Slide goes to Maglia, oh boy. I tell you what, if they're able to work that in system, that is pretty money for Hawaii. This is tough to stop. She's got move, two moving blockers and an open line shot. So 16 serving 12. Winasso. Wolf, and how about Irvine running the same play right back at the Wahine? And Wolf this time, the beneficiary. Seven kills for Wolf, only one error. Seven point of nine well, offensively, and she's been in on three blocks. Yeah, how about the number comparison of the two middles? Michaela Wolf, seven kills, 353, three blocks. Mags, seven kills, 412, four blocks. Here's Kekaoha into the net. That's the seventh service error for Irvine compared to six for Hawaii. How about Yosia with the short serve? Montgomery sends it into the deep corner and in. At least that's the call. Robin Amo Santos actually looking at some of the people along the VIP seats behind the end line asking if they thought it was in, and they said, yeah, it was in. Yeah, that was good. We're seeing the wide array of service styles here in this third set as Kelsch was able to get it through that block and down. I mean, jump servers who are floating it over. Yosia goes flat foot with the short, soft serve just moments ago. Irvine coming back with a similar style. Like, this is... Kakai also would stood up on her last serve as well. This didn't is, jump. This is pretty unexpected. Yeah. We were expecting fireballs to be thrown back and forth. Float serve there by Granado. The sales took something off. Dug up by Castillo. Granado 
will simply two hand it over. Advantage here, Ant Eaters. DeSales delivers. That's just too easy when DeSales has a free ball play like that. She's only got one blocker up. She's going to win that battle 90% of the time. She's got that heavy arm, good range. You'll see a bump set cross court to Castillo. Curls it in. Team best eighth kill for Casey Castillo. Nice bump set by Yossi off an errant pass. She had to go back into the back court to bump one that up there. Castillo made her look good. And another float served by Kahakai. Forces the overpass. And Emily Maglio knows what to do with it. And Hawaii leading by a handful. Forces an Irvine timeout. 20-15, Wahine in the third. Welcome back. Let's take a look at tonight's Jack Fact. Something's got to give. UC Irvine leading the conference with 81 service aces this season coming in tonight. Hawaii has allowed a Big West low 40 aces on the season. As it currently stands, Irvine with four service aces as a team tonight. DeSales, the dink right there. Yosia, Kelsch bump sets cross court to Castillo. That's dug up by Keiko Oha. A pop-up. And a net violation called against Hawaii. I tell you what, the interpretive dance that is done along the sideline by Robin Amos Santos <laughs> is a show unto itself. Worth the price of admission. I mean, just putting her heart and soul into every touch on every possession. Maglio! With a bomb! How about Mags getting the pass? They tried to serve her, and she says, okay, you're going to do that. I'll pass it up, and I'll finish it. And I'll even let out a little smile. The Fujitsu air conditioning cool play of the match. And yes, Robin is pumped as well. And at the roof, Castillo and Maglio against Akpakpa. And Hawaii has opened up the six-point advantage largest of this third set. It's a big block at 6-3 and 6-3 over there. Akpakpa, their highest hitting percentage player all year long, now has five errors. Middle set, DeSales got it by Maglio and down point Irvine. But Hawaii with four total blocks in this third set. That is an area that they have, at least statistically, a distinct advantage over the Ant Eaters. If there's one area that the the Anators have not been good at. It's been blocking. They've, they've uh, trailed their opponents pretty much every match. You'll see a sets up Castillo. The dink. Diving save Montgomery. Good reaction there. DeSales from the back row. Through the block and down. And she is virtually unstoppable at the moment. That is kill number 12 for Haley DeSales. Hawaii with two timeouts left. Irvine with one. Last three points will be the toughest to get in this set. Pass tight to the net. You'll see a one to joust. Montgomery tries to dink it past the block. Kahakai, bump set. Castillo blocked, punched up in the air by Savannah. Castillo a second time tried to go hard angle. A Akpakpa dug up by Kelsch. You'll see a surveying the floor. Led Granado just a little too much. So a Akpakpa in the middle off of a one-handed set by Kumelis brings the Anteaters within three. And Robin Amos Santos signals for a timeout. 3-0 burst here for Irvine. That was a great play by Kumelis. And Akpakpa, good adjustment there, keeping the ball in play. Robin Amos Santos, I think, wants her players to get a, get a rest here. That was. A, they're having some long rallies, testing their uh, endurance, to be sure, and their patience. Let's check in with Ryan. What's up? 
Well, here on the UC Irvine coaching uh, sidelines, uh, the coaching staff actually huddled together, talking for a bit, recognizing that Hawaii is passing better in their serve receive, and that UC Irvine is not scoring any points on the jump serve. So they're going to be switching things up, going for the short serve, going for more float serve. They're looking for more opportunities to score points from behind the service line other than the jump serve. On the Hawaii sideline, they're doing the same thing. They're countering with their variations of short serves as well. So we're seeing very very similar coaching strategies going on on both sides. Back over to you. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Yeah, a bit of a departure from what we usually expect from these two teams. How would you grade Hawaii's performance in service received against this high-scoring serving team in UC Irvine? I think it's been pretty good, actually. If you look at you can judge it by their, their side-out percentage off the serve. Second game, 81%. Third set right here, right now, 68%. Those are good percentages. You get to 70, you're going to win most, most sets. Attendance tonight, tickets issued, 6,189, 4,590 through the turnstile. And you said it very early in the season. You said this will be one of those years where the fans who come out will get their money's worth. Yeah. It's not going to be a situation at least not the expectation, certainly, this year to be a situation like last year where they dropped just two sets in conference play. This is going to be a team that's going to be battled because the rest of the conference, especially at the top, has also gotten a lot better. Out of the timeout, DeSales with the serve. You'll see a slide to Maglio. High hands. Tsujimoto kept it in the court somehow. Hawaii on the attack. Maglio off the block. And down. Oh, I like the way you'll see it went right back to Magno, even though it was quick in transition. Magno's got good feet, so she got off the net quickly and then approached the net and uh, got a good swing at the ball. Nice job by Yosia to make that choice. Third straight double digit kill match for Emily Maglio. And fifth in her last six outings, she now has 10 put downs, hitting a gaudy 476 to go along with a handful of blocks. Each coach with one timeout left here in the closing stretch of third set. Castillo with the serve. Keikaoha, diving save by Anderson with the second touch, a little mix up between Kahakai and Granado. What should happen there? Kahakai should take that every time. Granado should have uh, gotten out of the way. As soon as she saw Kahakai around, she should have deferred to her because Kahakai probably could have given Granado a set right back. So 20 serving 23. So what you're trying to gain the advantage here in this best of five. Good pass by Anderson. Outside, Granado dug up by DeSales. Maglio gobbles it up. provided the decoy at the beginning of that play, and at the end, she provided the power on the overpass. Granado just unloaded again, and again, Irvine doing an amazing job of playing defense on her, whether it be at the net blocking or in the back row digging. Another thunderous hit by Emily Maglio. It's a Loha ball in the third for Hawaii. Wolf blocked by Howling, and Ruth! and takes a 2-1 advantage over UC Irvine into set four here at the San Sheriff Center in the Big West opener. Welcome back. Well, Hawaii's block was big, literally and figuratively, in that third set. Five team blocks for the Lady Bows in set three. Eight altogether for the Knights and four for UC Irvine, and the fans love it. There's nothing more fun than a good old fashioned roof. Emily Maglio has five of them to go along with her team high 11 kills, hitting 500 on 22 attempts thus far. How about that goose egg under the error column? Well, that's how she plays, that's how she rolls. Let's check out how it works, presented by Central Pacific Bank. What are you doing for us here, C-Mac? Well, I like the way that Yosia, Noreen Yosia right here, is going to be going to the right, and she'll take the defense with her to the right. 
as Maglio provides some distraction right there in the middle, and then she goes against the flow, a back set to Kelsch, perfectly drawn up. Everybody going one way, and you'll see us setting the other way. UC Irvine's lone loss this season, a four-set defeat at the hands of Louisville. They trail 2-1 here to the Rainbow Wahine, but you pointed out in between these two sets that Irvine is the kind of team that could very much force a fifth set if they get ahead of steam. Here's Keikaoha from off the net, sends it long. This has not been a vintage Harley Keikaoha performance. Six kills on 25 swings, now four hitting errors, Chris. Yeah, it's not uh, a typical Keikaoha performance, but uh, who knows, she may come back. That serve by Kaakai really started things off right. There's a good pass that time. That one dug up by Yosia. Bump set, Kaakai to Kelsch rattles off the block. DeSales from behind the line sends it long. Point Hawaii, they score the first two points of this fourth set. Well, Irvine caught the Bows' attention in set one. 25-18 certainly dominated the better part of that opening stanza, but then Hawaii able to turn things around. They woke up 25-22 in the second, 25-20 in the third. And now working on things here in the very early going of set four. Montgomery past the double block and past the diving efforts of both Kahakai and Granado. Hawaii had a chance to get a good block up here. Trying to give Montgomery some credit there. She went over Emily Magwell. Great shot. Hawaii hitting 218 for the match compared to 183 for Irvine. Here's Sujimoto with the float serve. You'll see is going to set up Castillo. The dink right there is Montgomery. Good reaction. Keikaoha. Fingertips of the block out of piece. Granado from the back row with a blasty blast. Oh, they have to the block up on her. They were ready. But Granado, just too much power. For McKenna Granado, that's kill number seven. Three more, and she'll be at 500 for her career. Montgomery took something off. Wow. That was nifty. It's a great shot. Two shots in a row by Montgomery. She's now got seven kills, two errors. Almost Santos frustrated with the lack of a reaction there, and Kekaoha sends it into the net. She has collected a few of those service errors here tonight. That would be her third, and she's got two aces to go along with it. Coming off of her fourth career Big West Conference Player of the Week honor. As Castillo sends it out. Seventh service error for Hawaii. There's two teams trading self-inflicted wounds. Yeah. So here's Montgomery now sending it across. Two-hand pass. Granado. Sly goes to Maglio. Didn't get all of it. Diving save by Kahakai. That's dig number 20. But a double hit on Kelsch as she tried to set the outside pin. Look at that. Kahakai now with 20 digs. Continuing to climb up the career digs chart. She currently sits in seventh. Closing in soon on Kanoi Kamanao, one of the all-time greats. He was here playing the alumni game the other night. Yeah, she's still at it. She's still, she's still got game. Four serving four. Granado again, two-hand pass. Dug up by Sujimoto on the Maglio swing. DeSales just sort of threw it to the middle of the floor. And that's now 13 kills for Haley DeSales. Ashley Hayne, head coach for UC Irvine, said that has been one of the most pleasant surprises of this season is Haley DeSales and the shape she got herself into coming off of last season. Dug up over the net, and then pounded down by Emily Maglio. She 
Bruce just hovering at the net, taking over. Whether it be blocking, whether it be hitting over sets or slides, Emily's doing it all. There's the overpass. Emily does a great job of not following through into the cable. And still hitting with some distinct force. Five all. Outside the sails, down the line, two-handed, punched in the air by Kelsch. Granado got a piece of the block. Outside the sails again, the dink, one-hand diving save, Kelsch. Granado, the touch deep, Sujimoto right there. The sails a third time, blocked back. Back row set, Keiko Oha, dug up by Kelsch. She's putting in work. Here's Granado, the dink. Doesn't dink the ball much, but that one couldn't have been more perfectly timed. Long rally, great up by Kelsch to keep the rally alive. Good set by Yosia, and Ronaldo could tell the block was well formed. There was an opening. Good peripheral vision. And then McKenna Ross with a great celebration. This has been a gutsy performance by Hawaii. They are in no way exhibiting their sharpest game and overall effort but they are finding ways to succeed. Eke out rallies, eke out points in some pretty mystifying ways. That was a good swing there by Wolf. And we're tied again. Taylor Wolf with her eighth kill of the night. Yeah, good, good kill distribution. If you take a look at Irvine, they've got 13 kills for DeSales and nine for Akpapa. Akpapa. Eight for Wolf, seven for Montgomery and the 7 for Kekaoha. Scramble play by Hawaii. Advantage now and Eaters. They go slide to walk. Pop up blocked by Howling and Ruth. Sophia Howling. Just the way she ended set three. She gets another block. Not the best form there though. She was off the net. She got there late. We got a lot of help from the cable. Three kills on four swings, hitting 500 and four blocks for Sophia Howling. As you'll see, it got denied by the net on that serve. I mean, you look at Sophia Howling, Sky Williams, those two freshman middles with such bright futures. And providing Robin Amos Santos with some all important options at the position. And he was on the attack. Here's Keika Oha down the line for the point. Keika Oha with her seventh kill on 29 attempts. Keika Oha will not stay quiet for very long. Too good a player. It was a great shot down the line using Kelsch's hand. Yeah, you just figure it's only a matter of time. Exactly. Until she starts getting it rolling. Here's Kelsch, the dink. Diving save by Kumelis. Kekaoha, the touch. Kahakai lifts it up. Kelsch from off the net. Blocked and roof. Pakpa had most of that one. And Irvine on a 3-0 burst. Now leads by two. 21 digs now for Savannah Kahakai compared to 20 on the other side for Luna Sujimoto in this phenomenal battle of liberos. Granado put everything she had into that one. Going off the block and down. The two most prolific players on each side you know, have been dug a lot, blocked a lot, just haven't had their, their best nights productivity-wise. But watch for Granado and Keiko Oha maybe to make a statement the last part of these last two sets. Or De set. DeSales in the middle. Got under it. Was there a touch? Nope. Point for Hawaii. And we're tied again. <laughs> I mean, if this is a prelude to what is in store here in this Big West Conference season, you got Cal Poly off to a 2 0 start. They're certainly one of the teams to watch. As far as contenders in the league, DeSales, how did she make that work? I'm not sure why Casey Castillo went up to block that. DeSales was standing on the ground, was tipping it. Oh, yeah. 
see the frustration there by Robin Amos Santos. Maybe the worst poker face of any coach <laughs> in the business. Played off the net by Yosia. Kelsch takes a crack at it. Sujimoto the dig, middle set, Akpakpa gets it down. And UCI goes up by two again. Akpakpa really only a step closer, didn't get very far off the net. But she's so explosive, so dynamic. She finds ways to get double digit kills again. The sales will serve. Kahakai retrieves the first pass. Castillo from off the net. Dug up by DeSales, nicely done. Here's Keikaoha, a little wide was the set, and she made it work. That was an unbelievable slice of a shot by Harley Keikaoha, and it forces Robin Amos Santos to signal for a timeout. Irvine by three in the fourth. into an IIHS top safety pick. Get into Kelly Blue Book's most trusted brand. Get into state-of-the-art features. And right now, get into serious savings at the Subaru Hawaii Get In, Get Out sales event. Get low APRs on a 2018 Forester or 2017 Impreza or discounts on these and other popular models. Subaru, trusted, safe, capable. Get into a Subaru today. Then get out there. Only at your Subaru Hawaii dealers. My name is Sharon Santiago, and I am the finance manager here at Walani Judd Nazarene School. Prior to having Simplicity HR and HR Symphony, I would take about two days to run payroll. Since having HR Symphony, I have saved about 90% of my payroll processing time. Eliminate all the distractions of employee administration and reduce the amount of time spent on payroll processing with HR Symphony. Visit SimplicityHR.com to learn more. Welcome back. There's a look at Hawaii assistant coach Kaleo Baxter. This could be referenced in some ways the Kaleo Baxter Bowl because he is a former right. assistant coach under Ashley Hain in her first season as the skipper of UC Irvine. So that was two seasons ago. Kaleo Baxter was sitting on the other bench. Right. He knows these players well. He knows the coaching staff well. So you're right. It could be called it. Well, Baxter, or there could be the Gregory Baxter goal. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I like that much better. Yeah. Kaleo will not, but I like that much better. He knows what his real first name is. <laughs> well, Irvine trying to push this to a fifth. They lead by three out of the timeout. Sort of tickled the tape, howling in the middle. Good scoop there by DeSales. Now Montgomery on the outside, dug up by Kahakai. Granado from the back row. Hits it into the twine. Hawaii hitting the skids a little bit here. A 4-0 Irvine run. I mean, this match has been the epitome of momentum shifting. Good pass there by Kahakai. Outside set, Castillo got it in. Gotta get credit on that run to UCI for all their digging. They kind of dug the ball 60 times now. 21 of those digs by Luna Sujimoto. But they're, but they're all playing great defense. Nine kills for Castillo, 10 serving, 13. Here's Keikaoha against a solo block. You gave this a little foreshadowing, saying, hey, look out, it's only a matter of time. And here is Keikaoha now with nine kills for the match. She's just too good to be quiet for too long. 14 serving 10. Sujimoto will send it over. Castillo. Block got a touch. Montgomery. The dink. Diving save Yosia. And free ball coming here for the Anteaters. Kumelis goes to Keikaoha. And she gets it down. So Keikaoha has found a rhythm. And that is bad news for Hawaii. She now has 10 kills, hitting double figures. And watch the reaction. She's feeling good. A little shimmy. A little, little shimmy celebration. Lucia tried to set up Kelsch. 
could only dink it over. Outside, Montgomery blocked and rolled. Kelsch right next to Mags on that one. Kelsch got most of it, or all of it. Some moments being taken to wipe perspiration off of the Terraflex here. This has been a battle. Gutsy performance by the home team. They're going to have to gut out this set four if they're going to end it before we go to a fifth. Castillo, the dink, blocked back. Good cover there by Kahakai. Right side, it's Maglio. What a save by Sujimoto. Joust at the net, and the Anteaters now on the attack. Back row set to Sales. Net violation called against Hawaii. Point for Irvine, but give that one to Luna Sujimoto. Once again, what an amazing job she's done tonight. Both the barrels, as we said earlier, putting on a clinic. Sujimoto with her 22nd dig of the night right there. Sujimoto, who also played lacrosse, in fact, won a league title in that sport at Arnold Beckman High School in Irvine, California. Maglio pummeling that set. Trying to get the Rainbow Wahine going. Maglio making up that last net violation she had. A little angry with that last swing. 13 kills hitting 481, still without an error. Oh, that pass tight to the net. A rare miscue by Sujimoto. And give that point to Casey Castillo. Good look there at Ashley Hayne, third season as head coach. That one drops in for an ace. Are you serious? Still cut that one a little close. Everybody is in a, not one of their best rotations. So important for Castillo to keep this serve in play. Back to back aces for Castillo. We're looking for three of a kind here. Kick Ojo with the pass. Middle set. Wolf blocked. Kept alive by DeSales. Montgomery off the block. And a timeout by Irvine as Hawaii's hands team gets them right back into the mix here in set number four. Welcome back. The men's volleyball team obviously riveted by the action. Sorry, Ben Tilburg obviously doing some homework. Yeah. <laughs> you know, knowing Stein, there is a 95% chance that he is posting something on Instagram right now. Yeah. Stein von Tilburg, Pat Gassman and company. You gotta give it to them, though. They Not show up. The girls. Yeah, they do. Night in, night out. Joe Worsley. And they're loud. And most times, they're usually in costumes of some sort. <laughs> Hawaii with a little run here. Creating a bit of a block party. A couple of aces by Casey Castillo have helped as well. Wolf dug up by Kahakai. That's dig number 23. Granado slams it home. And Hawaii has come all the way back thanks to a 5-0 run to knock things up at 16. And of all people, Casey Castillo leading the way, not known as a serving specialist. Back off she served. She, she's uh, subbed out for a serving specialist. Oh, but the run ends as she gets that one into the twine. Oh, a nice round of applause from this crowd of uh, over almost 5,000. Was it 4,500? Yeah, they'll take the pair of aces. That's a good hand. It is. 17 serving 16, Montgomery. Soft serve by Irvine. Outside set, Granado. Not even Sujimoto, who has dug up laser beams throughout the night, could keep that one in the field of play. She, she and Kaakai, got, she's got 23 digs. Kaakai's got 22. If they were on their average, they'd each have about 12 right now. Doubles their output. It's am amazing what they're doing tonight. Putting on a show. We're tied at 17. Hawaii up two sets to one. 
here in the Big West opener. The sails from off the net. Got it by Howling and Yosia. How she has been able to do that so frequently tonight is curious. Nice bump set by Camillus. What a great center she is. We're seeing two very good centers tonight as well. And Yos Yos uh, Yosia and Camillus. Touch shot by Howling, dug up. And Kekaola hits it long. The crowd wanted a mishandle on the second touch, and I think that was a valid opinion. But athletic justice, perhaps, Kekaola sends it deep. I think the top referee's been very consistent tonight in how he's called. Even there might be some uh, questionable ones here and there, I think it's basically it's been overall consistent. Very liberal on some of those situations. Here's DeSales off the block. You'll see it goes middle to Howling, gets it in! Sophia Howling strikes again! Well, she's coming of age, isn't she? Gets up early, it's a touch on the block, and it goes in. Played three years for Active Volleyball Club. In fact, she's in the Active Volleyball Club Hall of Fame. She's already a Hall of Famer, just a freshman. Wow. <laughs> Here's DeSales. Pounds it off the block and out. Tonight she's having 17 kills now. And 43 swings, hitting 209. She's also got 10 digs. She's got a double double going on. From her knees, you'll see a sets up Granado, the touch shot sniffed out by Kekaoha. Here's the sail, tried to shove it down the line. You'll see it right there. Granado blocked back. Kahakai keeps it alive. Granado another time. Two-handed in the air by Kumelis. Keikaoha, cross court right there is Yosia. Granado blocked back. Granado again gets it down this time. And how about the assist, the bump set from Stephanie Howley. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Look at this, perfect form. <laughs> Only one blocker up. She actually fooled the middle, middle blocker. Sophia Howling delivering the nectar set there for Granado. She has been impressive tonight, to say the least. Sophia Howling looking poised and generating a lot of energy for this team. Kekaoha going high hands, saved by Yosia. So Kahakai sets up Kelsch against the double block. Sujimoto tried to save it. Unable to fully do so. Point for Hawaii. They're up two. Irvine with one timeout left. Hawaii with one timeout left. Our Irvine used mine right now. Looks like Ashley's not going to use it. She wants her team to figure it out for themselves. Granado to serve. Near ace. In fact, it is an ace. Maybe waited one serve too long to call that timeout. C-Mac, now Ashley Hain will use it. But a Hawaii service ace puts them up 22-19 and against the team that ranks ninth in the nation coming into tonight in aces per set, Hawaii actually has logged more service aces total, five to Irvine's four. In the battle of aces, you're right. You know, it's, it's tough to, to serve up aces in an environment like this where you know, the depth perception is different in this big arena. You know, you got the uh, the fans. Here's one of the aces by Granasso right there. Another one by Granado. Another one by Granado. And the steal. We got a couple. And remember, it was only two matches ago when Hawaii set the three-set rally scoring record of 13 aces in program history. Let's send it over to Ryan. What's up? Hey, thanks, Kanoa. Well, no doubt, Angelica Lucas, one of the best blockers in Hawaii history, trying to share some of her knowledge to her players right now, specifically talking for primarily all the time out about hand positioning over the net, especially trying to slow down UCI's middle blocker. Angelica talked middle blockers about the importance of their hand positioning and making sure they're taking the line as well on the outside. Back over to you guys. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Definitely no questions of credibility when it comes to this coaching staff, particularly between Robin Amos Santos and Angelica Jungquist. They're matched quite well on the other side by 
with Ashley Hayne and Sabrina Hernandez. Hernandez played at Long Beach State. She's in the Long Beach State Hall of Fame. And three of her four years, she went to the Final Four. And there's Megan Moynoa, who played at the UCLA on their NC2A championship team in 2014. So some great coaches on both sides of the game. Yeah, all setters over there for the Ant Eaters. Moynoa, by the way, one of the top-rated setters coming out of high school before heading over to UCLA in the country. As Keiko Oha rising above on that one. Ashley Hain, starting setter for UC Irvine in her playing days, was on their 03 and 04 NCAA tourney teams. Still the Irvine career leader in assists, and in fact, 2004, the last time Irvine made it to the NCAA tournament. 20 serving 22. Here's the sales. Pass by Granado. Middle set, Howling! Oh, I did not expect that at 22-20 to go to the freshman in a tough situation. And now here goes Bagnell in the front row. Great rotations coming up for Hawaii. Age ain't nothing but a number. Five kills for the Frosh. Sophia Howling hitting 500 to go along with four blocks. Pass tight to the net. One hand set rattled around on the Hawaii side. Off of a pop up. Now it's Keikaoha going high hands. You'll see a surveys the floor. Outside, Castillo against a solo block. Net violation called against Keikaoha. Point for Hawaii, and they will rise here on opening night in Big West Conference play. The second whole play up was Kendra Kelsch. Dug a perfect ball from Keikaoha. Put it up so that Hawaii can run a play. And it was a one-on-one -on -one situation for Castillo. Aloha ball for the match. Outside, Montgomery blocked back. They go to Keikaoha, blocked back. Kumelis this time goes middle to a pop by nobody blocking that one back. That was a great play, great set from Kumelis. They remain standing as it remains Aloha ball. Sujimoto will serve. Castillo with the pass. Middle set, Maglio had to knuckle it over the set just a little low. Here's Montgomery. Dug up by Kahakai, that's dig number 24. Kelsch gets it through the block and down. Point Hawaii, and they come back after getting wet in set number one to win it in four and start Big West Conference play with a victory. Not some great hitting percentages tonight by either team, but how about the defense that was played tonight? Point of volleyball on match, these fans were treated to some high level, high quality of volleyball all night long. 24 digs for Savannah Kahakai, season high 23 digs for Luna Sujimoto. And at the top of the kill numbers for Irvine, Haley DeSales, 17 put downs, hit 205. Also a double double performance with her 11 digs. Emily Maglio leading the way for Hawaii, 13 kills, seven blocks, not an error to speak of. Hit 481. Wow, what a night for him. Scott Robbs is with Robin Amo Santos. Scott. Hey, thanks a lot, Kanoa. Chris, I mean, <laughs> Chris. Coach, congratulations. First conference match, first conference win. But it wasn't easy, was it? No, it wasn't. I told the girls during during our uh, practice week, I said, I'm a little nervous about, you know, playing this team. I'm watching video, coaches are watching video, and that, they're just tooling. Tooling the outside, tooling right side, tooling right side, tooling the, the slide. You know, I was a little bit nervous coming into this game, and then watching them play defense, I mean, it's amazing. And, and once again, you guys got off to that slow start. I know you had a little team meeting before the second set. What did you talk to your players about? I told them that our, the coaches did what we were supposed to do. We went in there, we practiced on what we were supposed to practice on, what they were going to do. And then today at Serpent Pass, we did low flat, pass low flat balls. That's what we did. You know, and they have to come out and they, gotta, they have to produce. We did our job, now it's your turn to go do your job. All right, you got a quick turnaround back at it tomorrow night. UC Davis probably watched this on television in their hotel room. What do you know about them? Nothing. I'm worried about my team on this side. Coach Kaleo and Coach Ams has the other, like, you know, they go scout the other teams. I watched a little bit of video, but I'm, I'm just focusing on our side right now. An honest coach. 
Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Alrighty, back over to you guys. <laughs> hey, we said no poker face for Robin Amos Santos. She's not even going to try to pitch us a tail as we bring you the Bank of Hawaii players of the match. Luna Sujimoto, 23 digs. That's a season high for her, plus a service ace. Emily Maglio was phenomenal. 13 kills, hit 464 with seven blocks. So, uh, C-Mac, before we wrap this up, at least from our end, how did Hawaii do it? I mean, they got spanked in that first set. It was a lopsided opening set, and then they were able to turn it around. It was a gritty, gutsy, grinded out type of performance. But where did this match turn in Hawaii's favor, you think? I think getting spanked in the first set was enough to uh, jolt them into playing better. I mean, every single girl started playing better in every phase of her game, and it made the difference. Uh, I was really amazed at how Kahakai played tonight and how many digs she got in Sujimoto. They put on a show, and it was really fun to watch that kind of volleyball. Offensively, frustrating night for both teams because it was hard to put the ball down to the floor. But a great match to watch, a good start for Hawaii. They passed their first midterm test. <laughs> yes. And tomorrow night, it won't be easy against UC Davis either. Yeah, Davis getting off to a losing start in conference, lost to Cal Poly. Of course, Cal Poly, a lot of expectations around that program. They're off to a 2-0 start here to get conference play going. But the two areas where Hawaii not only outperformed UC Irvine, but at least in one of them significantly so, blocks and service aces. This was a, a Irvine team. Its signature was scoring from the service line. Hawaii obviously has been doing a lot of that here in recent matches, and they got the better of the Anteaters in that department. How important are those two categories for Hawaii, you think, in terms of long-term success? Well, what was interesting was both coaches uh, had their jump servers stand yeah. down <laughs> and change their strategy, so you didn't see as many aces from the Irvine side because they weren't really going for those big jump serves. They were more locating their serves with jump floats. Although it was a good strategy. I think they got more points that way, but it didn't result in as many aces. Um, but I think it was really important for Hawaii to, uh, also the blocking by Hawaii tonight yeah. was just, that was the other significant, I think, uh, statistic that Hawaii dominated in. I forget what the final number was. I think it was probably 11 to five on the night. Yeah. That was pretty amazing. Yeah, that uh, block party once again put on yeah. by the home team Rainbow Wahine, who have now won five in a row, improving to seven and five overall, and most importantly, getting off to a winning start in Big West Conference play. On the other side, UC Irvine losing for just the second time this season. They are now 12 and two, 0 and one in the Big West. That'll do it for us. Don't forget about the Heineken post game show, our corner crew, Scott, Lisa, and Ryan. We'll break down all the action tonight uh, and also bring you highlight statistics and hopefully an interview with one of the key players. Let's not forget about Sophia Howling. Five kills for the freshman hit 500 with four blocks. For Chris McLaughlin, I'm Kanoa Leahy. Until next time, everybody, aloha.